Well, today is a big day in the life of, uh, of Becky and I. We were able to pick up a, a camper. And one of the reasons why we decided to pick up a camper instead of going directly with the tiny house like I'd mentioned in, I think it was the first or the second vlog, but the first one, I think, um, is because we decided we, after doing some research and trying to figure out uh, how we were going to go about building a tiny house, we decided we should live in a tiny space first. So we have been saving up a little bit and we were able to find this camper on Craigslist and I'll show you around and give you a little walkthrough. As you can see, it's really, really nothing, nothing fancy. fancy. It's, um, I haven't even measured it, but I think that it's a 1989 and I think it's a 28 foot or so, 27 or 28 foot um, fifth wheel camper. And I don't know anything about it. Honestly, I've never owned a camper before, um, but we, this happened to come up on Craigslist for the right money, and I'm not going to mention what it is, but I just, I hope it was a good buy. I think it was, um, but there's a few things that are going to need to be worked on. Um, the guy we purchased it from said that he had it, uh, it was on a camping property that he purchased, and there was three campers, and he kept the best one, and, and it looked like there's you know, some damage, and he was going to get around to making it a hunting cabin, basically. And uh, never was able to get around to doing that, so uh, uh, he just had to get rid of it, and his wife wanted it out of the yard. So we picked it up, and uh, he says, based on, uh, and I would agree, that based on the fact that there's a little window air unit in one of the windows that's in the back corner here um, that the AC unit probably doesn't work up on the roof. So that's going to be one thing we have to fix. Um, you can see here there's a window. It looks like somebody put a piece of plexiglass over on the inside. And, uh, you know, hey, it, it is what it is. You know, biggers can't be choosers. But I have the power plugged up, and when we went and looked at it Friday, um, he had the power connected. It was dark, but we still uh, uh, agreed to purchase it because we just felt like it was the um, the right thing to do. Um, but all of the lights work, with exception of a couple, and I'm guessing that's just a bulb issue. Um, there's a couple of brand new propane tanks right there in the in the propane tank pocket. Uh, there's a gooseneck attachment that was on this thing and we removed that to haul it back here. We don't have a truck that will pull this yet, um, but now that we know what kind of, of camper we have, then uh, we'll know what kind of truck we need to get. So that's on the list. You can see there, if you look closely, um, I, you know, again, I don't know anything about campers. I'm not a camper guy. I've never owned one. But if you look closely at that fifth wheel hitch, um, you'll see that it doesn't look like it's lined up and there's a looks like there's some buckling there along the bottom and if, if it is what I think it is then um, there might be some structural issues going on there so if that's the case then uh, we're gonna have to fix it and so that's part of the projects that I'll have to work on um, this weather stripping here is a little bit loose and it looks like maybe the walls a little soft so uh, if that's the issue, if there's something going on there with rotten uh, framing, then again, these are things that need to be fixed. But it's nothing that's too big. Um, and then the other structural issue here on the outside that I can show you quickly is this back corner. Now, if you look at this back corner, you'll see it looks like uh, maybe some, I don't know, a tree fell on it. Um, and so whoever owned this before the guy that sold it to me, he, they had taken some black roofing tar and put on it all along the roof where it was leaking and it looked like it sealed up the problem. It doesn't look like it's been a recent uh, uh, leaky, recently, it doesn't look like the roof has recently uh, been leaking. So that's a positive, uh, with exception of one place and that's in the bathroom and I'll show you. All right, so uh, again, we just, just parked this thing um, the only t time really that I've spent in it is just trying to level it up. It's not quite level and it's just temporarily here until we can get it completely uh, cleaned up and ready to live in. But um, uh, the leveling jacks all work and 
um, but I haven't plugged in any of the water or the gas, uh, any of the gas appliances to see if, if, if that stuff works. But there is power to this system, and I guess this is the water control system. But again, I, I, I don't know anything about um, uh, uh, these kinds of campers. So uh, this is, if you guys have answers for me for any of this stuff, um, I'm going to start chrono uh, start going through this trailer and keeping the camera beside me and that's probably going to be part of the vlogs uh, if not it'll be a video series altogether um, just because I know there's a lot of people that would like to know how to fix up old campers and what they need to do to make them livable when they find a kind of a, a deal like this and so we're gonna we're gonna keep the camera close by when we're going through this camper and we'll tell you what we're gonna um, what we're doing now looking here at the the sofa the sofa has it looks like the water tank underneath it so you just pull it up and it's kinda like a hide a bed it pulls up and fold folds down and widens out to looks like a, um, about a twin bed size maybe even a full um, and there's a water tank underneath it uh, the master power box is right here under the, the stove and then you've got your uh, your storage under both of these seats and the table folds down to make a bed probably not going to use it matter of fact um, there's a good chance we can t we will take a lot of this stuff out and make this more of a an open living space that can easily be converted um, and, and used for different uh, types of living another thing that we're considering that, that we might consider doing is taking this kitchen area and moving it over here to where the sofa is and then taking this back section and turning it into a small little bunk bed area that is not only a bunk bed but it is also a uh, so the girls can stay there but also it'll turn into um, a little table underneath and a place where you can work as an you know, an office space, or the girls can do schoolwork, and and uh, so my kids will have a little space in the end of the, the camper where it'll just be their little space. Um, so that's kind of one of the big goals. Um, this here will definitely come out. It's just pointless to even be there. Um, and then looking back up this way, uh, the mirrors are looks like they're affixed to the paneling. Um, so I don't know how we'll will end up working on this but over time this will get cleaned up uh, now if you come up here into the kitchen or into the bathroom rather um, I mean this shower is a decent sized shower I was able to stand in the shower with my my logging boots on I mean these things have some kickers and still stand up and I'm a six foot three little little over six foot three uh, inches tall so that's good now here's the problem uh, in, in the bathroom I haven't been able to identify if it's fixed or not but the roof has rotted um, there's been some leakage c uh, coming down through the the ceiling um, from the roof and it, it, it's probably all just around this vent so that's going to be a project that has to happen right away um, and I'd like to try to uh, do as much of the tear apart as fast as possible um, and that way we can get living in it uh, and start put, putting it back together while we're living in it and we can uh, customize our design based on how we see our, ourselves using the space um, so again yeah I don't know if the toilet works either but uh, uh, the floors all seem to be pretty good with the exception of uh, I didn't don't remember if I mentioned but the out here uh, in front of the cabinetry there's a soft spot in the floor and that probably had to do with the tree that fell on the roof up there on the corner I showed you on the outside so that's got to be fixed so all that's got to come out just so I can fix the floor and I think there's low-cost solutions to um, to doing that kind of uh, uh, repair and I'll bring the camera along through all of that here's some closet space so that's just closet space um, here by the front door as you're walking up the steps and into the bedroom and here in the bedroom uh, I can't tell for sure I think it's a queen size bed so if it is we're probably going to cut it down to a full size um, to make some more room in the bedroom we 
don't mind being close to each other, so hey, that's the way it is. Uh, and there's not quite enough room for me to stand. I can stand with my chin against my chest and uh, with my head against the ceiling. But, you know, overall, this is not a bad little camper with the space, you know, and, and, and with the space that it is. It's just not bad. There's some cabinetry here um, that's closet space. And uh, there's a lot of space underneath the bed as well for storage, so that's good. Um, all of the lights work. Again, these little lights here on the wall. Uh, here's one over here I can flip on for you. But they're kind of ugly. But anyway, hey, they work. And all of the power outlets seem to work as well. So I'm hoping this is going to be a quick and easy fix. Um, I, I hope... <laughs> you know, I hope we don't end up spending a lot of time and money on it, and I think there's going to be low-cost, affordable solutions to uh, a, a small, a, a, a light um, camper restoration. So I hope this has been informative. I hope you've enjoyed this video. Uh, thank you so much for watching. Thank you for supporting me. Uh, if you haven't already subscribed, if you're a new new watcher, make sure you hit subscribe. And then beside the subscribe button, after you hit subscribe, there's a little gear icon that pops up. And if you click on the gear, you can hit, say, send me updates. So whenever somebody uh, uploads a video, if there's a channel that you really like, not just mine but others, if you click on the send me updates, um, then it will, will actually send you an email every time I upload a video. So... Hey, anyway, now that I have a mirror, I've been talking into it and trying to do something interesting. Uh, I, I hope you have a good day. Thank you so much for being here and supporting me. And uh, subscribe. I will have a lot of videos coming up on camper restoration. God bless.